Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. Doing fine. Doing good. good. I'm calling to see how everything is going in Trinidad right now. Ah, uh, okay. Um, it's, it's fine for now. Um, you know, we are practicing our stay at home. We have to stay at home as much as we can. And um, so, yeah, that's, it's been going fine. We haven't had any new cases in a few days. So okay. I think everything looks like it's, we'll be back and running soon. Um, how many cases do you guys have? Um, at this moment, we have 114. Um, so, yeah, and it's been like, that for like three days now. So hopefully we don't get any. We have some, some um, Trinidadians coming in from Barbados. Mm -hmm. um coming days so hopefully they don't increase our numbers because oh. it was stranded out there so so the borders are still open oh we have closed them for for some time now and um yeah so that's why they were stranded because we didn't we didn't want them to come in <laughs> right yeah, and we have a lot of people in um like venezuela and suriname and stuff that are trying to come in but they can't. So the um, people in Barbados had to charter a flight mm -hmm. to, to get to come in. So they do not any come in this. How many deaths? Oh, was what? How many deaths? Deaths, um, I think it's eight. And okay. we have 21 people recovered. So, okay, yeah. so we, we are doing, we handle it well. Yeah, you guys are handling it well. Please like Jamaica that skyrocket past us the other day. So. Yeah. Are you guys practicing like social distancing? Like what's the government telling you guys to like stay in the house? Um, so initially they broke down things into um essential services and non essential services. So um yeah, um and so it's a sort of like a partial shutdown. Mm -hmm. So they broke that up. So places like um pharmacies, supermarkets, and um, like bakeries, and some small shops are still open. Bakeries is an essential? Huh? <laughs> bakeries is an essential? I think so, I think so. <laughs> you guys and, have to uh, have your sweets? <laughs> say again? You guys have to have your sweets? They're, you know, bread and stuff. Yeah. Um, for some time, we had... um. We had KFC and those restaurants were open. A lot of the restaurants were open, but people people had some issue with that, so they closed down all the restaurants. And so yeah, we've been um so we've been mandated to wear masks when you go outside. So we wear masks, we when we go to any of those places we have to sanitize. Yeah. They sanitize the trolleys and our hands and we have to wash and all that. So yeah, we, um, people, there are sometimes, um, people, you know, kind of forget. It tends to happen, um, it's, the things start to go crazy when people, like, are outside banks and stuff. They start to forget about social distancing and things like that. Mm -hmm. But, um, so, yeah, um, but other than that, everybody's doing as they should. Um, seeing that people um we had like less numbers or we weren't increasing in any numbers in terms of cases um a lot of people started to venture out more so they, um, they started to have a lot of people on the roads and stuff so that's that's what an issue the government has to deal with now yeah i think they um trying to lock down they're having a lot of roadblocks now to, to prevent people from leaving their houses right but, yeah. That's that's what's up. And how's the supermarkets? Are everything being sold? Um, it's it's not no rush, no rush. Everybody's. I haven't been out that much. I don't really leave the house. I just been on work because I have an essential job. So, mm. uh, yeah, that's. But um, well, from what I've seen, it's everybody's complying and um, yeah and not, not much crowd or anything like that. That's amazing. I hope that the numbers continue to stay the same and there's no new cases and things like that because it seems yeah. like 
Mm-hmm. I hope I hope so too, because everybody wants to go outside. Yes. So, <laughs> a lot of people losing money and stuff like that too. So yeah. yeah. Carnival's not happening this year, right? We did we did our carnival, Jamaica's carnival was supposed to be today. Um, but um, our carnival was um in February, sometime in February and so and that's when the thing just started. So we luckily didn't get anything then. So and we we got to a carnival. People, some people are upset saying we should have partied a little harder knowing that we <laughs> died for this long. So I hope by the end of May we'll be back outside. So and people people just gonna fat from now till. So yeah, people, people are gonna go crazy. I've always wanted to go to Trinidad um carnival. It looks a lot of fun, but it, I don't think I would fit in too much. <laughs> why not? Why, why is this so? Because they wear like the big costumes and they like, I don't know. I feel like I am, I would be so out of place. And I, I'm uh, not like, I'm not like Caribbean. Um, you, you are kind of, you got, you got a little bit in there, but um, I think anybody could fit in. We, uh, we might be able to coach you, you know, show you how to do the thing. So, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome well thank you so much for coming on my channel and telling me updates and stuff like that i think i think it's important for people to see different aspects of the world and see how the corona is like affecting them it's an honor so i think this is first time i've been on youtube so it's gonna be all right under the mango tree, you know? <laughs> Under the mango tree. I wish. Here I am, stuck in my house. I wish I was in Jamaica. <laughs> yeah. He's sitting right here at this mango tree. <laughs> wow. <Right>? Um, amazing. <laughs> so what's up? How's things going in Jamaica? Right now, uh, same, just like the rest of the world, you know, everything is on lockdown right about now. Is it like partial lockdown or is it like a full lockdown? It's a partially lockdown, you know, the whole, the whole tourist industry is locked down right now. It's just like local, but they, they have a curfew from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. You can't go in those stores unless you go. Yeah, you can't go nowhere unless you're wearing the mask, gloves. They won't allow you in no stores. Basically. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's very, we don't have a curfew over here, but it's very similar. Like, you have to wear a mask, and you can't um, go nowhere but like, the stores. And plus, everything is, like, closed and stuff. How are you guys practicing, like, social distancing over there? Are you guys staying, like, six feet away from each other? Well, we try, you know. Yeah, but I also yeah, try to do it. You were at a private beach. Yeah, I'm at it's a private beach. Yeah, very so nice wanna... to be in Jamaica. Yeah, I live close to private beach, you know. Basically, that is I'm like... absolutely amazing. Um, yes. how do you feel like life has changed since before the Corona to now? Uh, it changed a lot. You know, it'll change a lot. I just have to readjust. I have to readjust, you know? Change yeah, like what? To readjust, you know? What are some things, uh-huh. like what? What are some things that's going on in Jamaica that, that you would say is definitely different? Yeah. That's obvious. The difference is, you know, you can't go around people like you used to. Yeah. When you're in the streets, you just have to always remember, I can't go close to that person. Yeah. If it's a person that you know and they come around, you gotta like check them out <laughs> before they come close. Cause you yeah. don't know where they've been, who they've been around. And how many cases are in like that? You know, like make sure you scared of nervous. Right now we have like a uh, hundred and twenty-five cases. hundred and twenty-five cases. How many? Hundred and twenty-five last night. How many people have died so far? We have four deaths. Four deaths, uh, I think, four. out of the 124. 
four persons, they all imported from overseas. We have um thirty something that's recovered. Uh like thirty something critical condition and wow. the rest is positive. Yeah, basically it's all it's mostly imported. Right? Wow. Uh, what is the government, government advising? What the government is doing now? Yeah, like what's the government yeah. advising you guys to do? Like how are they handling the situation? Okay. Uh, they're trying what they're doing right now. They um, they imposing like like curfew. For example, last week we had curfew like for one week straight, mm -hmm. from from uh from seven a.m. three p.m. Open from seven a.m. to three p.m. And that's it. And what's the, the whole week is like a ghost town, like a week and a half. You know. Mm hmm. What's the repercussion? Yeah. Like, you get a fine, or if they put you in jail, like, what, what, what's the restriction? Fine. Oh yeah, they saying yeah, yeah, yeah. All the bars are closed right now. No bars are allowed to open. Churches are closed. Like stuff that has to do with a lot of gathering. They yeah. close it. It's a million Jamaican dollars, like ten thousand US dollars. That's the fine, right? Mhm. Mm and fine, are right? people? So a lot of people are out of work right now. Yes, majority of the people. Cause, you how know, how is that affecting? They, how is that affecting? Affect how is that affecting the people? Like, how's the government accommodating to that? Yeah, well, it's in a, in a large way, as most people in Jamaica, they survive off the tourist industry, and, and once the tourist industry is closed down, all the hotels are closed down, all the flights are closed down, so. That's like around, like say, like seventy percent of the money got shut off. So people 70%. here have to turn to different. Stuff. Yeah, around seventy percent. Wow. Because most people, even if you don't work in the tourist industry and you got a business, you still benefit from the people that work in the tourist right. industry, right? And if there's no tourists that's yeah. coming in and out, then that business is not being supported. Yeah. That's right. So most people have to turn to different stuff right now. Some people doing farming, some people in the streets, they're selling gloves, they're selling masks, they're selling oranges, they're selling fruits. Yeah, everybody's they're hustling. doing something just to stay alive. You know? Wow. They're hustling. Me, I went in the bushes and I started farming. <laughs> you know? Uh, in the bushes something. and start farming, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys have mango trees, you got trees where fruits is on. <laughs> That's nice. Wow. Yeah, man. We have lots of fruit there. It's no mango time, you know. Yeah. It's no mango time. I don't know if there's any on this one. Yeah, there's some on it. Yeah, I see it's some. Mango time right now, so yeah, there's some on here, you know. I definitely so we eat mangoes and stuff. We grow stuff, you know. Yeah, but before, I mean, hard I, mean to, I feel like everyone is out here, you know, really hustling and stuff like that, but it's kind of crazy to me that 70% of income in Jamaica is tourism, and, and, and a, lo a lot of that is a lot of parts of the world, so without those tourism and without, you know, people flying in and out, how are people supposed to survive? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Exactly, you know, exactly. That's what everybody here right now trying to figure it out. What are they gonna do next? Yeah, and I'm I'm praying and I'm hoping well, that this. I have to say, I have to say, I have to say, yeah, I'm praying and I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm praying, I'm praying and hoping that this doesn't last long because I feel like the longer it lasts, the more people will be affected by it, especially in ways that like, you know, we don't even think about. You know, like a lot of people are really struggling and unless your government is like really stepping in and, you know, it, it can really lead to a very bad economy crash and people starving and, you know, violence and just, just so many things just come above when, you know, people are in that state. And I think it's just, I think it's, it's I think it's horrible. Yeah, I'm, so I'm true. praying so for you, Jamaica. Yeah, we're praying for you too. You know, we're praying yeah. for the whole world exactly. right now. We're praying for whole the whole world, world you know? right now. We're gonna get through this. We're, we're gonna completely get through this. 
We are gonna get through yeah. this. Moving on uh, here in Jamaica, you know. <laughs> the empty roads. Empty roads in Jamaica. Not even That's beautiful. Anymore. That is not what I see when I look outside. <laughs> not even a look how green. <laughs> That's awesome. All of the birds are flying around, you know. <laughs> The birds are not on lockdown. 